That's you. Point of process. an evolving conversation over the next 24, 48 hours. The, the problem with that being that we only have this space until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, okay, well maybe if it gets time, then we can we can talk about extending it and how people want to move forward with that, okay? Um, so we're gonna do the stack, the next stack really, really quickly, but I'm gonna encourage people to come up to the mic so it takes less time. Hello everyone. So one thing that we talked today in the morning was that was really important is about the diversity march. We have planned for already the action committee. Uh, we the action committee we have planned for already two weeks and we have missed here. So uh, I mentioned in the morning that we could uh, add to that march uh, to do a lot, a lot of outreach to the neighbors and rel and families to march with us at 2 p.m. And, and not only for uh, do the the, the 99 percent is diverse and united in Portland, but also invite the neighbors to march with us in solar in solidarity with the movement of Occupy Portland. And that march, the end of that march, will be in on the camp, and will be invite everyone that march with us to occupy the camp at midnight to with us. Two. Two was back there. You in the, the black and yellow? <coughs> Two. Yes. I was wondering about people with disabilities in the room. People with disabilities in the room. You can come down. Lock their wheels. Thank you. We'll be considering that. Number three? I don't see number three, so are there any? Okay, please, please, you gotta remember your number and speak promptly. Great, great. Your number three? All right, earlier at the previous GA, somebody raised a larger idea of what is gonna happen is gonna happen. People will behave autonomously except the hybrid idea. Everything will happen. You can't limit them. And Seattle is here. There are people from Seattle here. And that actually reminded me of one other thing that came up, that whatever we decide tonight, we need to remember that we can have a multiplicity of tactics, a diversity of tactics, and that if we need to come to consensus over a decision um, that's, let's say, like, just stay at the camp, that those people that want to go elsewhere should be empowered and we should be in solidarity with them to make that decision, you know? So uh, making decisions that accommodate all of our needs and desires and beliefs is really what we want to work towards here tonight and what we talked about at the GA. So um, that being said, we are going to, oh, I'm sorry, there's a direct response. Is it a factual direct response? Okay. into our focused, big, 
group discussion. And I know everybody has very, very, very important things they want to say and sentiments about every single issue. Um, but we need to respect one another's space in this discussion. We're going to take several stacks of um, three comments. And um, these are ideas, just to frame this again, we want to be focusing on broader sentiment ideas and then the uh, logistics, like the outlines of outreach and things like that, can come out with the Spokes Council tomorrow if we decide we want to do outreach like that tonight. Um, and other logistical things can be brought to the Spokes Council. There are things that you can also discuss in the breakout groups that we'll have after this larger group discussion uh, and report back on from those breakout groups. But as we're taking comments right now, try to frame them in solutions ideas and tactics that have not already been addressed by what was addressed at the emergency GA or spoken to just now so that we have a diversity of ideas circulating and then after we take um, three or four stacks then we're going to break out into discussion groups so that you can have more focused uh, evolution based discussion on these ideas come back together report on them and see which ones we can all get behind and as in as we do this we're going to create a skeleton of ideals that we can all support that the working groups that form out of tonight and the working groups that will work on this at the spokes council model can fill in the details for us when appropriate does that make sense to everyone everybody on board with that yeah all right this is really really exciting we're collectively deciding how to we have to wear a eviction notice and how to preserve our camp and our movement and make it thrive. So, let's take our first stack of three people with solution-based ideas that have not already been touched upon. Right here. 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 He's wet? Okay, so we're going to take the stack and please come up to the microphone if you can just because we want to, uh, we want to expedite this thing, make it go faster. I want to read two things from folks on live stream, um, and they pertain to this part. Okay, one of them says, please ask that anyone who plans on getting arrested, receiving the GA, reviewing the GA commitment to nonviolence, and brush up on how to get arrested nonviolently, it speaks louder than violence, and no yelling. And I ask for clarification on yelling. We're talking about provocative. Like some of the behaviors that we saw toward the end of Jameson um, was a little bit provo provocative. So yelling, not freedom of speech, but provoking. So that was a request from one person on live stream. I have another one. I couldn't get it short enough, so I'm going to have to keep paraphrasing for him. Um, okay, so there is a document on the bulletin board that comes from an anonymous, uh, one of the Anon things. Um, and it is a statement. So it's a complicated statement about where we stand and all of that. Um, I am suggesting to this person to come tomorrow. But first of all, just the general idea, if you would please read the solidarity um, documents about like what we're going to say, like what we are going to say, and use all of those statements, put it on the bulletin board, some of them are really elaborate. This person spent a thousand dollars sending pamphlets and CDs and everything, and I hope that he can come tomorrow and represent. So I just want to tell you to look on the bulletin board, look at the discussions, and see if we want to come together with a statement. And part of it is that he stressed that the police are part of the 99 percent. We need to be talking to them, and and so we're we're going to work with them. And this offers a specific way to do that. So that's what I have to say for live stream people. Thank you. I have two things to say. Everybody um, is here. We all have a reason why we're here. 
and um, pretty much if they disband our the whole living situation, where is the cops expecting us to all go? They do not want us sleeping underneath bridges, on bridges, on sidewalks, all the around. Whereas in this one huge living situation, everybody is getting together. You guys are maintaining the own living situation. And it's like if everybody was out there, out and about, they would be looking at us in a wrong way. My second thing is that everybody is talking about protesting. Right now, what is the number one worried is that they're wanting to get us out. By protesting, you are gonna definitely get on the wrong side of the police, which everybody says is the mass majority that is trying to work against us. So if you, which I can understand everybody wanting to do that, but really right now what you guys need to be mostly focused on is maintaining this and making sure that you can find a way that they won't want to kick everybody out. And protesting might be on the wrong side of that, which everybody has their opinion. Just before we have number three, um, okay. Um. Hello, my name is Renee Stevens. I'm part of the 99%. Okay. I came here today to change the world. How many people are here to change the world? Okay. What I'm promoting is the establishment of the pay it forward society. Okay? This is basic, this can work, okay? Uh, what we have is we have, uh, we're all playing a Monopoly game, okay? And the 1%, the problem with Monopoly is it, only one person can win. That's why we have one, the 1% against the 99%. What we need to do is we need to, uh, Establish the pay it forward society. Number three. You're number three, right? So someone jumped in line. Uh, we're going to get to number three, but really quick, what we're going to do to really speed things up no, is take the next stack right before number three of each stack so that those people can come line up and we save a little more time, okay? So we're going to take the next stack. All right, I'm taking another check. You're, you're number one. Uh, in the orange, you're number two. Uh, four. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, and yes, we want to be talking about specific solution ideas that we can go back and discuss in our breakout groups. Broad general statements and sentiments are awesome, but they, they're not, that's not the place for them right now. We need specific <laughs> solutions for this very time-sensitive matter. And please try to keep your, everything succinct. All right, so we have a lot of work to do this weekend, and um, if we remember what happened in New York when they got their eviction notice, they had the entire community come in and march, march, march. So that's something that we need to do. So, over the next couple of days, um, I was with a working group, we've been working this afternoon, and uh, we decided that we need to go out, out into the communities out into the communities. Um, we're all from various parts of Portland, Gresham, Hillsborough, North Portland, South East, Southwest, downtown. We're all here. So from here, what we do is we go out into, into you know, coffee shops, we go to college campuses, and we go and garnish that support and um, support and have an Occu potluck on Saturday. So, okay, Occu potluck, I liked it too. Um, anyways, okay, so what we decided is that um, we have the feeder marches. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing, um, what you will be doing um, in your various respective neighborhoods um, tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday.